I'm gonna call this the matrix drill. That's what it feels like. That's what you guys look like. And I'm gonna make sound effects for the video. I need earplugs. Plugs. Part of the Not plugs. She needs me to behave myself. Yeah, keep two hands on sticks for a little bit. I've been telling them that. Okay. Part of the setup that yeah, keep two hands on for a while. Mm -hmm. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. That it starts with a and, and single. Remember, you guys don't have to stay static. Okay, so. So that you can just what he's doing right now. Okay. So that you can focus on the sword. So you come down nice and slow. You don't need to move until you even way too soon. Okay, so you didn't have to move. Good movement, just way too soon. Now watch. Remember my dad said? I step first. I'm going to cut right through the center line. I'm going to make him move. He has, he has to move. Right. Right? So now, he's there, right? So I'm going to, there's a couple ways I can do it. Come high and come across. Or, maybe I'll let it go down. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to step here. And I'm going to come right up through the center line. Get it. Make him, make him move. Right, keep it slow, and what you want to, that was good right there, except for what you did, and you'll see it on tape, is you had the right thought movement, you moved too fast. Stay the same speed as the sword. So if you're staying the same speed as the sword, and we'll come back to this point right here, and I start coming here, you either have to move now and go that way, or let's say I was coming this way. So you have three choices right here as this blow is coming through this angle. You could step that way, which means, but not that fast. And you would have to begin that movement. You could begin that movement right as it gets here. And if you stay the same speed of sword, you could just keep moving as long as you need until you're out of the way. Or you could go that way, which means you need to go a little sooner, because, but you have to stay the same speed of the sword. You're still moving too fast. Or you could come underneath. And you come here. No? All the way this way underneath. So as it comes down, so those those are some of the things you do. And really, as they coming back, and you're feeling that tension of the sword. Remember we said the rubber band. You feel that tension pulling you to the sword. If it's pulling you in and it releases, you just continue with that tension that you had. Again, you want to stay the same speed as the movement of the sword. Just a little bit more. Slow down. <laughs>